you guys? It's Cass. What's up? What's up? What's up? And I'm back with another video. Do you see this sleigh right now? Do you see this highlight? Do you see this beat face, glittery eyes even? Like, I mean, come on. All of this stuff on my face was from the drugstore. I know. That's pretty freaking awesome. I wanted to make this video because I wanted to show you guys that you can come out with a glam look no matter where you get your products from. You can find amazing things at the drugstore, so I thought this video would be a perfect opportunity for me to show you guys that. I went for some silver glittery eyes today. I didn't expect to take this path, but I started with my makeup, and now here I am. Full highlight, lashes, glitter. I don't even know how I ended up here, but I did. <laughs> Before we jump into the video, don't forget to hit the like button if you want to see more videos of me only using drugstore makeup. And if you want to keep up with me, just hit the subscribe button as well just to get all that stuff out of the way. To see how I got this full glam look with only drugstore products, just keep on watching the video. Iced coffee for the win. I love iced coffee so much. I promise I'm not naked, you guys. I'm just wearing something strapless. <laughs> I'm gonna bring you guys nice and zoomed in so you can catch these eyes. I'm gonna fill in my eyebrows. I'm using sleek makeup and I can officially consider sleek makeup as a drugstore item because sleek makeup is now sold at Walgreens. I am using their brow kit in the shade Extra Dark. I used this in my first impressions video and since then I've really been liking it especially since my Goof Proof brow pencil ran out. It comes with a cream and a powder, but unfortunately I don't like the brow powder just because it's a little bit too warm for my skin tone, but I find that the cream works perfectly fine on its own, so I just go ahead and fill my brows in with that. I know they look really intense right now, but I promise once the rest of my makeup is on, it'll look more normal. I'm gonna prime my eyes with the Flower Beauty In Your Prime Ultimate Eye Primer. I'm just gonna take a little bit of that on my finger and then just run it all over my lids. This video is gonna be some first impressions and some just drugstore makeup that I've been using. This is the first time I used this eyeshadow primer and it's nice, like I like the feel of it, but if you guys know me, you know that I like to have a primer that completely blanks out my veins in my eyes, but it does feel like the eyeshadows are gonna stick pretty well to them. Just to blank my lids out a little bit, I'm gonna take some concealer from the L'Oreal palette and I'm just gonna run that on my lids just to have a little bit of coverage for these veins over here. For eyeshadow, I am using this Rimmel London Magnificent Shadow Palette. It's called Keep Calm and Wear Gold. I'm first gonna go in with this color just to set my lids, make sure the blending process is easier. So I kinda just pat that all over my crease mainly. Then I'm gonna go in with this color right here. It's a little bit more of a cool brown shade and I'm gonna blend that in my crease. These shadows are showing up pretty nicely. I typically like something a little bit more warm in my crease. It's almost looking like a grayish brown, but I mean, I'm not mad at it. It's blending out really nice and it is pigmented, so the quality is there. This color right here, it's a matte shade. It's kind of like a purpley grayish color. I'm gonna keep that on the outer part of my crease. I definitely didn't expect to do something on the cooler side, but hey, we're just gonna go with it. Now I'm gonna pick up this kind of like a metal purplish gray color. That one is shimmery, so let's see how it shows up on my lid. Ooh, I'm digging it. I like that. I actually really like how that's looking, but I kinda wanna deepen up the outer corner or the crease a little bit. I'm gonna go in with this color right here. This is really pigmented. Like I only put my brush a little bit in there and it's picking up a lot, which is super nice. I'm really impressed with these shadows. Go Rimmel. I'm just gonna put that on the outer corner just to create a little bit more dimension and make the look just that much more interesting. When you focus on creating more dimension, that's when your looks just kinda take things to the next level. I'm just kinda bouncing that brush in the corner of my eye, and I'm just gonna blend out the very edges of that outer corner. You can see I had some harsh lines there. Then I'm gonna pack some more color on because that's the business of applying eyeshadow. You apply it, then blend it out, and then you want more pigment. 
and you blend it out again. It's a vicious cycle. This palette definitely does have a lot of fallout, but it is really pigmented. So for a drugstore palette, this is really great. I'm just taking this lightest color in the palette. I'm just going to highlight my inner corner with that and then do a little bit on my brow bone as well. I want to make this look a little bit more fun, so I'm actually gonna add some glitter. I'm using NYX glitter in the shade 10, which is just silver. And I'm using LA Splash's glitter adhesive. Again, all drugstore products. I love drugstore stuff. I just think it's so much more accessible. Anyone, you know, that doesn't have the budget to buy high-end things, I think it's important to show you guys that it's totally possible to come out with an amazing look just using drugstore things because growing up I wasn't like shopping at Sephora all the time for my makeup I would go to the drugstore and if I had ten dollars I would buy a new mascara or a new lipstick or something you know so that's my little spiel for today I'm picking up some of the glitter adhesive on a number nine BH cosmetics brush in the rose quartz collection it's a really small brush so I can have a lot of control so I'm just gonna try it on the inner corner for right now and let's see and I'm just lightly moving that around. Okay, so it definitely wasn't my intention to completely cover the lid with glitter, but that's just where I went, and I'm there now. <laughs> but I do think it looks really pretty, so I'm just going to do the same exact thing on the other eye. I'm going to darken up that outer corner with the same color that I was using before, just to make it a little bit more intense and kind of to help blend in with the glitter, make it look more seamless. Now, my under eye looks crazy right now, so I'm clearly gonna go in with some white bees. I'm using my Pixi Makeup Melting Cleansing Cloths, and I'm just gonna clean up under this eye before I move on to my face makeup. I'm just gonna put these eyelashes on off of camera because you guys know I suck at doing them on camera. I'm gonna apply a little bit of mascara. I'm using my Voluminous, Volumilala, <laughs> Voluminous Lash Paradise. It's amazing, you should get it, and it's cheap, okay? So I'm gonna apply a little bit of this with my lashes. These are the Ardell Wispies, and I'll be right back. Sometimes I just wish I could go boop, and my lashes would pop on, but it takes me so long to put them on. I don't know why. That's why I always do them off camera. Now I'm going to move on to the face and I'm trying out a new primer today. Well, I'm going to use two primers, but the first one is this one by Almay. This is a five in one micro spheres. What? <laughs> this is their Almay 5-in-1 correction primer. It says these micro spheres blend to refine, correct, perfect, hydrate, and mattify. Like hydrate and mattify? Ooh, it's like a jelly. This is a very weird consistency. Straight onto my face. It feels nice. It does feel really hydrating. I like the feeling of this. It has that tacky feeling. So I'm actually really liking it. Then I'm gonna go in with this primer. This is the Revitalift Miracle Blur Primer by L'Oreal. And I'm just taking a tiny bit of this. This stuff is really thick. So I'm just going to use that around my nose area where my pores sometimes show up a little bit more. So I'm just going to use it around here to help fill my pores in so that way the foundation can go on really smooth. So I've used this one before and I really like it for a really good pore filling primer. And this one, I, this is my first time using it. First impression is really good, but we'll see how my foundation goes on top of it. For foundation from the drugstore, I'm using this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow Foundation. I absolutely love this stuff. I've been using it nonstop. So I am blending this out with an EcoTools Beauty Sponge. Very similar to a beauty blender, but I like that it has this little nook in between, so it feels like I'm holding onto a doorknob while <laughs> getting this onto my face. This foundation is definitely a must-have drugstore foundation, especially if you have dry skin. Now I'm gonna go in with concealer. I'm using the Revlon Youth FX Concealer. This one is brand new by Revlon, and I've been loving it. I just click the pen a few times and then put it right under my eyes in this triangle motion, the tip of my nose, forehead, and chin. And I'm using a Precision Foundation Brush by Ecotools to blend that out. 
So the coverage on this concealer is super good. I love how it looks, but you guys know I'm a makeup junkie and I'm dramatic AF. So I'm going in with another concealer over top and I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible Total Cover Concealer Palette. I've been doing this a lot lately. I've been putting on my more dewy luminous concealer and then I take this concealer right here just a little bit to go over top just to really brighten and make things more dramatic. I'm not focusing it so much right on my under eye socket but I'm kind of putting it like on the sides of my nose just to highlight this triangle area right here and just bring that high cheekbone effect just right there on the sides of my nose blend it out it adds a more like boom like full coverage effect your girl is looking super shiny right now I know <laughs> so I'm going in with some powder I'm using a multitasking powder brush from eco tools my favorite and I'm gonna try out this pixie powder again this is their quick fix translucid powder it does have this puffy thing but to be honest I don't like the puff I don't like applying it with the puff but the powder itself I really do like I don't see anything wrong with it so I just take the cap off and tap some of it into the top and then I'll just take whatever's in that cap and run it all over my face now I'm going into bronze I'm using the Rimmel London waterproof natural bronzer this is in the shade sun bronze this looks pretty warm and I don't love a warm bronzer but I'm gonna try it out do you see anything it's too orangey for me. So I'm gonna go in with my Rimmel Kate Moss Trio, and this bronzer is really good for me. It's not too warm and it's not too cool, so I really like using that for contouring. And I also like to just contour the sides of my nose a little bit with that bronzer as well. I'm all bronzed up. Now for blush, I'm using this one by Flower Beauty. It is their blush in the shade Peach Primrose. It's a matte blush and I've been using it a lot lately. I already know that I love it. It's a really pretty natural peach looking blush. And for highlight, also by Flower Beauty, I'm using this bomb highlighting palette. This is their Shimmer and Strobe highlighting palette. It's a trio, so it comes with three highlights. I'm going to go in with more of this gold shade. This stuff is really, really pigmented, and it's as soft as butter, so you only need the tiniest amount. And look at this. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It's so intense and gorgeous. I love it. I'm kidding. Are you actually kidding? A little bit on my nose. It gives me the nicest, like, summer glow. I'm gonna focus back on my eyes and just finish this bottom lash line off. And I am trying out this Revlon Colorstay 2-in-1 angled eyeliner. So on one end it has the angled eyeliner and the other has, like, a little smudger brush. Oh, this is actually a gray color. It's not black. Whoa, that was super pigmented. That's awesome. Do you see how intensely that went on? And you guys, I was really like barely touching my waterline. Now I'm gonna pick up this grayish purple color that I had a little bit in my crease and I'm gonna use that to blend on my lower lash line. So I'm also trying out a new mascara. This is their Precision Mascara. This side is the top and this side is the bottom. I really just wanna try out the bottom one. Whoa, that is extremely tiny. I don't even know if it is working. It's just so small. <laughs> I mean, it put mascara on my lashes, but it's definitely not my favorite. Moving on to lips, I'm going to line my lips with NYX's Ever Lip Liner. And then over top of that, I am taking my Flower Beauty Lip Gloss in the shade Classic Nude. Alright you guys, so this is the finished look. I'm officially done with this tutorial. I really hope that this video gave you some insight that this is what I stand by. You can come out 
with a bomb ass full glam look no matter where your products are from you just have to know how to work it how to find what works for you I never want you guys to feel like you have to break the bank to have good makeup if you have any questions about any of the products that I used of course leave it down in the comments you guys know I always answer you don't forget to hit the like button just so I can know if you guys want to see more drugstore only tutorials so click that like button so I know please don't forget to subscribe to my channel as I always say it means so much to me from the bottom of my heart I really mean it I love you guys so so much and I'll see you in my next video bye